Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Due to a misfortune and all the rework I have to do, I decided it's a good time that I'm going to replace the block heater in my 4.8 that I'm swapping into my 2003 GT. Of course, if you're coming to this video to learn how to replace the block heater, I'm going to go through some tips that are going to save you a lot of time because uh, the LS Vortec block holds a lot of coolant. And you got to be prepared to get a little bit soaked. And I recommend that if you're underneath wrenching and you're about to pull the plugs, keep your mouth shut because uh, you may regret it later. So I'm going to show you going about different drain points that you may have on your vehicle. And then I'm going to remove the block heater and put the new one in. Quick video. The first problem I find with the LS engine is the fact that the coolant lines are coming out central of the block which doesn't efficiently drain the whole block. The big thing is you want to start draining your radiator when it's cold. You don't want to drain it when it's hot because you're going to regret it. You're going to get burnt and it's not going to be a good time. So somewhere on your radiator, there's going to be a drain and you want to open up the radiator cap and then open up that drain and start draining out as much coolant as you possibly can. So looking up on the passenger side of the block, you got to remove the starter to get to it. And right where my finger is, that's one coolant drain right there. Pull that out. And when it's ready to come out, make sure you got a bucket handy because coolant is just going to come flying out of there. So your block heater is actually the coolant drain on the opposite side. So you got to get soaked on that one too. And mine was a 15 16 socket to remove it. I've already had it out, but I'm going to show you this for demonstration purposes. So, of course, depending on what kind of vehicle you got, you need to get the proper engine heater. And this is the one that was recommended for my late 90s 4.8. Now, just to be fair, this block heater is not going to come out easy. It's going to fight you to the death. Now once it was out, I took a rag to wipe off any coolant that was there. Just kind of clean it up a little bit, but I noticed there was some crap that was built up on the surface and that's going to affect the sealant. So I just grabbed a little razor blade here and just kind of cleaning her up. Just kind of clean it up as best as you can because um, you'll find out as soon as you start putting coolant in if it's not. So I got the new one. It's got some thread sealant on there. So since the block is a little bit corroded, I'm also going to add this thread sealant on. Works really well. I'm going to thread this into place and tighten her up. And by the time I finish redoing the head gaskets, it will be nice and sealed. And hopefully it won't have any leaks. Now the key is, hopefully have some common sense. When you install the block heater and you're tightening it up, don't try to use all your strength as if you're going to bust it off and thinking that the more tighter it is, the better. Try to use some common sense. There you have it. It's in and installed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. And I hope you guys didn't get soaked too badly when you decided to drain your engine block because I know I got soaked. And I wasn't really expecting that much coolant to come out at first. So make sure you do this when your engine's cold. I'll see you guys in the next video.